something that I get asked for help with a lot is blurring people's faces or objects from videos or often known as redacting someone's video. For example, if you don't have the copyright or the release form for that person to be in this video. Say I got this lovely shot of this lady walking along, but I didn't get a release form from her. She's clearly visible, so I need to blur out her face. So I'm going to just download this clip for free and then I will open up the CapCut app and click on new project. Within new project, then I will just be able to drop in the video. So I'll go to my downloads, drag and drop that in there and it will adjust the settings of the project to suit that vertical clip. So here I have my lady walking along and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to command C and command V or control V, control C. Control C, Control V, the clip so that I have a duplicate copy and I will overlay that on top. So making sure that it started at the exact same time. Now I'm going to go into effects and I'm going to search for a blur. And I'll just take this blur and I will actually put it onto the second clip. So now the entire clip is blurred, which is not what we want. We just want to blur a section of it. So within here, then I'll just click on the clip and I will click on mask then circle, and then I can adjust the circle to cover this lady's face. Now the issue is that the lady moves. So it's fine here, and I might even just make it a little bit smaller so it's not distracting. But if she stayed in the same place for the same shot, that would be easy. The blur is done, everything's fine. But because she moves, now I'm going to need to move this circle as she moves along the frame. So I'll go to the very start of it and that's fine. I'll click on this and circle and I'll just put in what's called a keyframe. It's basically an indicator to the editing software of where you want this to be. So the position, the rotation is probably going to stay the same and the size, I'll also put a keyframe on that in case I have to make it a little bit bigger as she comes towards the screen. Then I'll move the timeline along and I'll grab the circle and I'll just position it over her face. I'll move it along again Again, grabbing the circle and covering her face, going again and grabbing the circle and covering her face. And then I think that she pretty much stays there, but I'll just do a little bit of finessing and again back to covering the face completely. Now, let's see how that looks. OK, it's moving with her. It's fine there. Her forehead is in sight. Yeah, I kind of like that. And what I might do is just put a little bit of a feather onto that so that it's not just a circle. And then actually, do you know, at the end here, I'm going to click on the clip and just move that a little bit over so that it is covering her. Simple, easy to do. Maybe a little bit difficult if you're working with multiple people in the same shot. There is video redaction software out there. However, the ones that I found are very, very expensive. They use AI to kind of, you tell it which person that you want to blur and it will do it for you. But I find if you're going to the trouble of editing the video yourself, it's actually probably better to manually do this, even though it can add time. So really what you should be doing is aiming to plan to not get visible people in the shot if you don't have their release forms or explicit permission to use them with the video. And then in that case, I'd get the back of people, people's legs walking like, you know, you still can get shots, but you're not kind of singling out person's kind of face or biometric data. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.